We are expecting the Republican leader to offer a privileged resolution at the conclusion of the debate on this rule. I'm disappointed at that news. His resolution is being used by Republicans to posit a moral equivalence between a comment by the gentlelady from California standing up for justice and peaceful protest and remarks by Representative Green, who directly threatened violence by retweeting a tweet. I understand it was not her words, but she retweeted, retweeted those words, which said that if you want to shut Pelosi up, a bullet to the head will accomplish that objective. She didn't say it. I want to make that clear. She retweeted a tweet that said that. Chairwoman Waters' remarks reflect the very profound anger and sense of hopelessness that she and so many others, myself included, feel when we see African Americans being killed during encounters with our law enforcement and their families not seeing justice. It is, frankly, exploiting the pain of so many families and communities to turn Chairwoman Waters' concern for justice into a partisan cudgel. As my friend, the dearly departed Elijah Cummings, used to say and would surely say now, we are better than this. So when the minority leader offers his motion, I will offer a motion to table and urge all my colleagues to support that motion. On this vote, the yeas are 216 and the nays are 210. The motion is adopted. Without objection, a motion to reconsider is laid on the table. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.